okay hello guys welcome to another tutorial in this series so today we'll be making a smart pin using our arduino you know picto blocks and so that some other materials like ultrasonic sensor so just stay around and let's dive into what we are here to do so we'll be needing a carton a carton then the materials other materials jumper wires meal to meal breadboards 180 degree servo ultrasonic sensor and our Arduino Uno board. So the first thing we do is we make all on our carton to accommodate the servo. So after we've made it made the hole, the next thing we do is we connect our Arduino Uno to our USB cable. Then connect our tracing sensor to our breadboard. Then bring out four mil to mil jumper wires. As we have been doing before connect it directly in front of the ultrasonic sensor so once you've done that the next thing for us to do is we bring out our LED light emitting diode then we connect it the shorter part is the negative the longer part is the positive and the shorter part goes to the GND the longer part goes to our pin then we connect Need to make your power wires directly in front of it so that we'll be able to connect it to our Arduino Uno board. Then we take this slightly to the front because to accommodate our servo, then we connect the GND to the GND, then the GND of the ultrasonic sensor to the GND on the Arduino Uno board. Then we connect our VCC to 5 volts on the Arduino Uno board. Then we connect our trick. I connect our trick to number 2 on the Arduino digital pin 2. Then our echo to the tap in 3 so that's done so the next thing we bring out our servo and we connect mail to mail jumper wires directly in front of it we connect it directly in front of it so one two three then the brown one will go to our GND remember we put the GND in front of the LED so it will accommodate it then the next one goes to our 5 volts which is our VCC the 5 volts so once we have done that then we choose a pin so here I'm choosing pin 6 for the servo. Then lastly, for our LED, I'm choosing pin 4. So we connect that. So with that done, we are good to go. We connect it to our laptop. So let's start coding. So the first thing we bring us, we connect our board to the picto blocks. We connect it to the picto blocks to bring out our extensions. So the first thing we bring us, we go to events, carry out when green flag clicked. Once we I'm zooming in, so we carry out when green flag clicked, then we go to control, carry out forever. Then after carrying out forever, we go to carry out if then else. Carry it, then drop it under it, then go to our operators. Then carry out box less than 50, less than 50. Then we scroll down past the Arduino, then you carry out get ultrasonic sensor. Get ultrasonic sensor. So you can click this place to get there. Then carry out get from transforming sensor trick is two echo is three then carry it out drop it inside it then you change the number to 10 because that's what we need 50 we don't need 50 once it once it's less than 10 we want it to open so we now go to set servo carry out set servo set servo we bring it out then we drop it inside immediately after it then we change the pin to pin six remember we chose pin six for the servo then we change it then we want it to rotate to 90 degree not 180 degree or 30 degree 90 degree then we type it 90 degree so with that done we go to our um, set digital pin bring it out remember we want to set this for LED then we change it to 4 remember the pin we chose for LED is 4 so we change this to 4 so with that done, we almost set. You duplicate this, do the exact opposite under the else, um, under the else. Then low, change it to low. So once an object is detected less than, like greater than ten meter, it closes. Then the servo goes to zero degree. So with this, we are almost good to go. So the last thing we would want to do is we want to go to looks, carry out C L O, so that it would. Tell us the distance at and so we go to get the transmission sensor go down 
then we carry out to get ultrasonic sensor we drop it so with this it measures the distance of our ultrasonic sensor so with this we are almost good to go with this we are almost good to go so now uh, with this reading we have already uploaded our firmware so that's why it is like this is already connected to it so the firmware is already uploaded so that's why it is reading by itself it's reading the distance between the object and the ultrasonic sensor so let's do another thing let's um, try to test it you can see that it's working it is working okay so let's dive into how to make it with our box so the first thing you light your candle so once you light your candle once you light your candle bring out a glue stick a glue stick to glue your breadboard to the bottom of your after making holes like this on your carton so to glue it so that it won't shake so you glue it to the bottom of it then you drop your Arduino in with them. Let the other side, let it come out the other side so that you connect it to your laptop. So now, the next thing for us, we want to glue our servo, 180 degree servo. So put your glue stick, then you put it there, then you glue, the, glue it. You glue it. So with that done, we cut off this cover for the carton. You cut it off this cover that you're seeing you cut it off you can use a smaller carton just to make things simpler that's why i used something like this so once that is done we still want to glue our 180 degree servo so that it won't shake at all because the way it is it's as if it's not glued well so we take our glue stick then put it put it so that it will stay so once it has stayed i like to dry get a carton so that you know there's a space between our servo and the cover so we want to get the carton to make it look better or work better so get the carton try to roll it using glue stick roll it in like that the way you are seeing it so roll it in roll it in so with that done glue it to your servo so you glue it directly to your servo you glue it to your servo once you have done that then glue the cover to that carton you just work on it so you glue it so once that is done we are set we are set so let's test our program so look at this now once the hand is in front it opens once you take your hand it closes you can see as simple as it is that's how it works so we try to drop something to see how it works we drop this paper it opens once we leave 10 meter radius of it it closes so 10 meter radius as it, it opens so that's all about that i don't know if you have any question regarding this tutorial please before you leave please please comment and subscribe to this channel anything you are confused about just drop it just drop it i'll make sure i do justice to it i will make sure i do justice to it anything you are confused about how did i do this how did i do that so i'm trying to drop the scissors too so it's still working so it is a very easy tutorial so any question you have make sure you drop it on the comment section thank you very much i'll see you in the next video